Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Vivaldi web browser for desktop version 5.4 and this latest stable release started rolling out earlier today in my region on the 10th of August 2022. Now there are a couple of new key highlights and features in version 5.4 and the first is Vivaldi say they have added the capability to mute the web panels so you can select which sound source you want to listen to now in the browser. So if you head to a web panel and you right click on that, you have the option now to mute panel and you can always come back at a later stage and unmute that panel by clicking on the same option. So you have the option now to mute and unmute web panels in version 5.4. And then moving on to the next feature, um, as many of you may know who do use the browser, rocker gestures are part of the mouse gestures capabilities uh, in Vivaldi. And up until this stage, um, users haven't been able to select what the rocker gestures can do. And now with version 5.4, Vivaldi says users can customize um, the different options for what the rocker gestures can do now in the browser. Now to get to the settings uh, for rocker gestures, uh, we just head to uh, the settings menu, head over to the mouse page, and here we get um, allow rocker gestures, which you can obviously turn on and off. And we have the right click and the left click different gestures. Now, rocker gestures work by rocking your fingers between your left and right mouse buttons. You can rock across the mouse from right to left or left to right. Each direction you rock gives you a different result. And each of those um, right, right or left click mouse buttons have numerous uh, rocker gesture options you can choose from to customize rocker gestures now in the browser. And then just moving on to the next um, new feature, you can copy link to highlight. And this allows sharing a specific part of a web page quickly. So just to demonstrate, if I just head to the Vivaldi web, website and I just highlight something on that web page and I right click, you will see now copy link to highlight is a new option in the right click context menu. Now right click and choose copy a link to highlight will give you the ability now to send that URL to anyone using a Chromium based browser because Vivaldi is based on the open source Chromium platform. When the page loads, it uh, it will directly go to that part of the text instead of to the top of the, um, the page or the article that you have sent. Um, and that's what Vivaldi is mentioning in the release notes for copy link to highlight. And then you can always use a secure connection and if we just head back to uh, the settings menu once again, and this time we head to the address bar, there is a new um, always use secure connection HTTPS, and that's off by default. So if you want to use that new uh, security feature, you can just toggle that on. And Vivaldi says this option automatically upgrades all navigation to HTTPS and displays alerts before loading websites that uh, don't support it. The HTTPS upgrades will be automatic to allow you to browse the internet without interruptions over a secure connection wherever possible. And obviously um, you can, if you don't want to use the feature, you can just toggle that off once again. And then um, the last key highlight, uh, so to speak, for the browser itself is to do with the the, uh, the mail, uh, the calendar and the feed reader, which have now been upgraded from version 1 to version 1.1 and there are numerous um, improvements to the uh, mail the calendar and the feed reader and uh, um, uh, but there are actually no new features there's just fixes and improvements and a lot of so-called fine tuning that's going on behind the scenes so to speak but Vivaldi does mention that they have made um, speed and performance improvements to the uh, mail calendar and feed reader in version 5.4 and then over and above that and um, there are numerous bug fixes and general improvements to the browser itself too many to mention in this video and if you'd like to see um, if you have the latest version on windows you can just go to the menu help check for updates and this will upgrade you to the latest version if it hasn't done so already and if we just head back to help and we go to about the latest version and build now for the browser will be 5.4.2753.2 28 so that's the uh, version and build now for the latest stable release of the browser and because the browser is based on the open source chromium platform it's also been upgraded to chrome version 
5112.83, which is exactly the same version and build now as Google Chrome. And that's actually a very important security update to the Chromium platform. And just to mention some of those um, security fixes quickly, there are 27 security fixes in total with this latest Chromium update. And seven of those are high risk vulnerabilities, which is your second highest rated vulnerability after critical. So um, this is a very important security update to the Chromium platform addressing 27 security issues in total. So that's more or less what's new in Vivaldi, um, uh, the desktop browser for desktop uh, version 5.4. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.